everyone, it's Miss Karen. Today I just got one of these like little handy little, just a, a cut out stamped on it. Uh, but uh, one of these little china things, they're just uh, like balsam wood. Got these at the dollar store, I think they were like part of a, a set of like, I don't know, four or five little sea anim animals. But we're working on the letter T, so what do you guys think this is? Uh, kind of looks like a turtle. And before we do it, you know what? Even after we paint it, look, we can use our turtle and we can trace around it. T is for trace. We can use our turtle as what's called a stencil. So that's like a pattern. It's a, fan a stencil is a fancy name for a pattern. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I lift up the turtle? <gasps> There's another turtle! Now I have two turtles, okay? But we're just gonna do something really fun. I got my little uh, handy dandy assortment of temper paints that were from the dollar store. And I'm gonna try to hurry this a little bit. You know I mean? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I better cover the green back up. I don't want to use green yet. I want to start with my lighter colors. I think I'm going to paint my whole turtle yellow to begin with. You can paint your turtle whatever color you want. It's your turtle. Can you believe this? I have, no, I guess I have used my yellow. Me bad. I got some other colors in it, but it's okay. So I'm going to paint my whole turtle yellow. And you know what, if you had like some paint markers, you could use those too. Those would be really good on this, what's called the, the balsam wood um, paint markers. Um, you know, even a colored pencil would take pretty decent on this to color a bit. Okay, so now I've got it all one color. I'm kind of brushing it out really thin, so hopefully it'll dry here pretty quick because it's going to get... Uh, Gonna get noisy here for just a sec. Stealing my daughter's little uh, blow dryer here. That's what she uses for her craft. So when she's painting, she's got this cute little dryer. And she'll use it to kind of dry her paint real quick so she can keep going, not having to sit and wait for it. So where do we find turtles? Hmm? Are they are they land animals or do they live in the sea? <gasps> you know what? They live in both places. Now Nevada has the desert tortoise. So I mean Nevada's mostly a desert. So obviously it's living on land. Hello. But then we have the sea turtle. And it lives out in the ocean. And if you guys like go to PetSmart. You know, my kid, my daughter and I, we like to just go to the pet stores and look back in the area where they have the pets. And uh, they usually have turtles, little snapping turtles, hiding somewhere. Uh oh, I lost something. And I like to go and see the different turtles. And sometimes they have snakes and, uh, like the little chameleons or uh, geckos in there, geckos, geckos, whatever they are. I don't even know how to pronounce it anymore. So see that uh, actually dried really fast. That was one of her uh, grandmother's things to get her. So now if you've looked at turtles, you know turtles in your animal books, they can be in different colors. Snapping turtles tend to be greenish. Our desert turtles, you know what snapping turtles are green? Because they're usually living in areas that are, are green and like around the pond's edge and they dive in the water and they come up on the, the, the green grassy mossy areas of the bank. So they're kind of greenish to blend in to their environment. A desert tortoise, because everything's kind of like, you know, dirt and yellowish and brownish, different shades of that, they tend to be kind of yellowy, brownish, tan, you know, just little hints of green on them. I have a really fine brush, but I'm going to try and do this. They have a turtle back, this kind of square on their back. And hence the uh, 
turtle design. This will work. Now it's only on their shell that they have kind of these funky little square things going on. It's not on their feet. Okay, so when you make your turtle, don't color their feet. They're, they're, the, turtle, the turtle shell does not cover over their feet. And this one, I'm looking at this, I kind of messed up a little, but it's okay. This one has more like the flippers. A little bit longer front feet. So I'm thinking this one is actually maybe a sea turtle. So maybe I should have you know, made them more on the blue-green side. But it's okay. It works. It worked. It's all good. Maybe like one there. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go back. And I think I will make his feet, the ends of his feet green. And his little tail green. And the end of his flippers kind of green. And then, what else? Maybe I'll make his head. Kind of green. So now turtles are kind of neat because when they get scared, they curl up inside their house, which is their shell. And turtles are what are called, known to have, like, you guys feel like on your head it's hard. And like the front of your legs, it's got that hard spot. Those are your bones, okay? Our bones, human bones, are on the inside of, you know, our skin area. You know, our skin. Our bones are on the inside. An ant, a turtle, um, a ladybug, to a point, their skeleton is on their outside. So this turtle, his shell is his outside skeleton and when he gets scared he can pull his feet and his head almost completely inside his hard shell let's see i just use this he needs an eyeball i was gonna make black but yeah there there's his eyeball okay so and then maybe i don't want to do any more with blue hmm maybe just like a little accent, something here. Seems like it just needs something since I've kind of identified him as a sea turtle. Making him kind of looking like a sea turtle worthy. Okay, so didn't do too great of a job, I don't think, on my sea turtle. But, you know, if you want to get one of these little kits at the dollar store, you could um, do like the whole little kit of four or five. And then you could um, get uh, make a little tiny hole in them. And take like some fishing line and put fishing line in them. And then you could tie all the fishing line up where you would have like a mobile that you could hang up. So all the little creatures would be, you know, dancing there from your ceiling. Okay, so here is our little sea turtle. Okay. And he's got, you know, the the turtle shell, these little like hatch marks, these little squares on on the back. Okay, so be sure you go get your animal book or you know have somebody help you on your uh, on your tablet or something and google some turtles and look at the different kind of turtles turtles are really kind of cool all right that's it um be sure you find some of the stories you read and there is another craft out there i'm not going to tell you what it is you have to find it save the suspense um and hopefully you enjoyed the letter t